Welcome to episode 65 of Chumps to Champions. Today is a massive episode because we have a chance of getting automatically promoted from League One. This time three seasons ago, no chance. Successive promotions from the conference and League Two and now we have a chance of getting promoted from League One. It's mental. This season has been strange because we've hardly lost a game. We've only lost five all season in the league but we've drawn so many and that's why we were 13th, 12th place of around there for ages. And we've suddenly had a massive upsurge in results. And look at this climb up the table from 13th just a few games ago. The highest we have been is third. We were first briefly, but other teams had games in hand, so um, it didn't quite it doesn't show that we were first. But we're fourth in the table with three games to go. The only problem is Wolves and Luton have a game in hand and they're already one or two points ahead of me. <laughs> it's strange because mine and Chesterfield's goal difference is, is better than Wolves and Luton's. So we have that opportunity there if Luton and Wolves slip up. It's really tight. It is crazy close. Leighton or two are top until recently. They've actually really slumped lately and um, losing a few games. In fact, they must have lost quite a few games in a row because I swear they won 69 points in the last episode. Anyway, they're out of it pretty much. They're not completely, mathematically, but they pretty much are out of it, unless everyone slips up. So it's between the top four teams. So let me know in the comment section below, before you start watching the rest of this video, who do you think is going to get first? Who's going to get second? Are we going to end up with the playoffs? I don't mind the playoffs. We're pretty much guaranteed a playoff place, unless we really do slip up. If we get a win today against Preston, who are in the relegation zone, then we're guaranteed the playoffs at least. Either way, I hope you enjoy this episode. Hit that like button for this successful season, even if we don't go up automatically. We've had a successful season. And I'll just show you the, the recent results before we get on with the next game. As you know, in the last episode, we slipped up after five successive wins. We then drew against Colchester 1-1 and Crew 2-2. But we're still unbeaten since then. We, we went on to win the next three games. 1-0 against Doncaster thanks to a Faulkner goal. 3-0 against Fleetwood thanks to two goals from Fritto and one goal from Cameron Stewart. And then a 2-0 win against Chesterfield, Mitchell and Reese with the goal before a 0-0 draw against Port Vale and a 1-1 draw against Stevenage. Both of those teams fighting for a playoff place, I do believe. So not the ter terrible results. But if we'd won those two, we would be top of the table. Anyway, we've got Preston next, who are 22nd, fighting for their lives. And are actually the last team we lost against in the league back in 2020, end of 2020, the last game of 2020. In fact, we haven't lost a single league game since then. The only game we've lost this year is the FA Cup fifth round game against Crystal Palace. So it just shows how impressive our run has been because it's the last cycles, cycle of results that we actually lost in against Preston. So Preston in 22nd. And then we've got Millwall, who are 10th. Sort of mid-table, maybe with a chance of the, the playoffs, I'm not 100% sure there. And then Oldham in 18th, who are also sort of fighting for their lives, I'm guessing. If we just quickly look in detail, Oldham aren't out of it yet at all, no. And 10th uh, place, Mill, yep, they've got a chance of the playoffs. It's very tight, as you can see. So, oh, I'm nervous because it would be an unbelievable achievement if we're able to go up in this episode. Unbelievable achievement if we win the league, but second... I'd settle for second right now, obviously. Uh, but at the start of the season, I'd have easily settled for the playoffs. So I'm happy either way. So this is the team I'm going with, I think. Have I made... I, don't th I might need to make some changes. I don't think I've looked at the team, actually. I think this is the team I'm going to go with to face Preston in the first game. The team's been brilliant lately. Mitchell's played well in central midfield. Reese has been fantastic. Cameron Stewart's been scoring loads of goals recently. And Fitu, uh, Fotu, or whatever you want to call him, six goals, six assists for the team in 14 starts and one sub appearance. He's been good on loan, I must say. So, let's get started with this first game. Kulabelli is suspended for this game, by the way, because of a red card. And Alcock's still injured, so I'm having to go Klausen at right back. Naji's in defensive midfield. And that's okay, he's a decent player. He's not really developed as much as I was thinking he would. He was really good last year in League 2, but this year he's he's been okay, but nothing spectacular. He's still on loan from NK Dons, who are actually in, the, uh, in League 2, I think, which is funny. Um, but I don't know. I mean, if we go up, there's going to be certain players here that I'm just letting go completely. There's going to be other players that... Um, 
that I might re-sign on loan, or if they're coming to the end of their contract, I might be able to sign on a free. Let's do this then, okay. We owe Preston after what happened last time. It's all about revenge, and that gets them motivated. It doesn't always work though, they sometimes just completely flop after saying revenge. But let's see what we can do. At home to Preston North End, who are fighting for their life to stay up. But remember, we're fighting to win this league, or get promoted automatically anyway, and hoping Luton and Wolves can slip up in the process. In fact, we're going to put the results uh, where is it? Later scores here. Move it up. In fact, I move it over here. We don't need to see the match facts. It's nil-nil at half time, which isn't good. So I'm going to go attacking. A counter has worked well recently, but the last two games obviously we drew. So let's try and just go for it a bit more. Go attacking, and I think I'll stick with the same team. So what's going on in the other games? It looks like Wolves are winning. Wolves are winning 1-0 against Colchester. Here go Preston all the way through, and it's a good clearance by Hickford. And Luton are drawing against Knox County at the moment. Head it away, guys. Head it away. Clear it. Well done for two. But they're still on the ball. I'm nervous. Harris does well there. He's been fantastic. What a signing he has been in Jack. The January signing. Here goes Stewart running through. Faulkner. Great save by their keeper. Probably was a clear cut chance. I can't actually see the match facts now. Maybe I should move the latest scores over here actually. We don't really need to see the team ratings. Main. Through to photo. Is this a chance for us? Come on. He's, he's through. The Cypriot goes all the way. Good save by the keeper. Once again, tipping it around the post. Come on, corner. This is a chance. Stewart. Uh, cleared. Oh, no. Oh, phew. <laughs> what they were going to break there. I, I keep one man back at corners. It's really quite suicidal. But I get everyone back four corners. As you can see there. Yeah, well done, Stuart, for winning that. But they're still on the ball. This looks dangerous. And that's that's why. That's, that was off the pitch. Come on, ref. That went off the pitch. That didn't make any sense. That swung off the pitch quite clearly, didn't it? Anyway, they're still on the ball. Come on, get rid of it, guys. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well done, Main. Dennis Main, good good tackle there. We need to make a change. I think I might bring Photo off. He's not really done anything. Nick Riley's going to come on. I'm going to play him as an advanced forward using the pace. Or maybe as a poacher. Well, he can't play as a complete forward at all, apparently. Let's play him as an advanced forward. Okay. Najee's really tired, so I'm going to bring on Hoey. And that will do for now. Okay. Come on, Riley. Please. You've only scored five goals this season for me, I think. They're all thereabouts, which isn't good enough. You need to get some more goals. I know he's been coming off the bench a lot, but he needs to be trying to get some goals. Someone's injured. Clausen's injured. Muggleton's going to have to play right back. Which could actually be okay, because it will add some long throws into the mix, won't he, in a stupidly high average rating. We really need to win this game. Harris. Reese Over the top. Riley scores. Is he onside? He is. We're 1-0 up. I'm... This seems a bit sort of defensive doing this, but this is, I'm going back to my usual tactic because it's solid. It gets us draws, remember. So if we can hold on now, that would be good enough. It was a lovely dink ball from Harris. Well, Reese, sorry. That was a brilliant dink ball and Riley headed it over the keeper beautifully. And Reese has got so many assists this season. He's been amazing. Really has been surprisingly good. And Riley with a good finish with his head. Let's make our last sub. Oh no, we've already made the last sub. Clausen got injured, so we're just going to have to make do with this at the moment. Can we hold on for the last few minutes? They've won a free kick. It's headed away. Hoey, that's it. Sensible play. Stewart ah, gives the ball away. It was the right idea trying to get it down to Riley, but a player intercepted well. And here they go. And that's really dangerous. And Lovelock makes an amazing save from my own player there. I think it was main. Just an unlucky deflection of him, but what a save from Lovelock. He's on a 7.5 today. That must have been a really good save then. Can we hold on for 20 seconds? Faulkner, run it down. Into Reese. Reese. Riley. Offside, but it hopefully doesn't matter. I think we're going to hold on here. And that's it. We've won the first game of the three that we needed to. 
Oh, brilliant win, guys. It was a struggle. I mean, against a team in the relegation zone, we did struggle. We do tend to struggle against the bottom teams. Uh, but Preston are fighting for their lives, remember. So that leaves us in third place, just behind Chesterfield on goal difference, who must have also won. Luton obviously didn't get a good result, but they have a game in hand. As do Wolves Hill, one point above us, but with a game in hand. So it could all change here. Oh, it's tense. So that win does mean we have secured a playoff place along with Wolves, Chester, Chesterfield and Luton. So four teams in one go getting a playoff place. It's so tight at the top. So unfortunately Wolves have won their game in hand against Wolves. So they had a relatively easily fixture there I guess. Which means they are currently four points ahead of both myself and Chesterfield. Favourites to obviously win the league now. They've had a very good season. Scoring plenty of goals. But my defence is still much better than anyone else's. Five goals less than, than Fleetwood. Only 37 goals conceded. Lovelock has the most clean sheets this season. It's been a really solid season and it has been about trying to convert those draws into wins, hasn't it? If we can win more games than draw, draws by the end of the season, that'd be good. We've got two games left to go. If we can win both of them, then we've won one more game than we've drawn. It should be a good thing, I think. This is a blow. Cameron Stewart out basically for the rest of the season, two to three weeks. I could ask him to play the game against Mill, but if we end up in the playoffs, then he'll miss the playoffs three to four weeks, won't he? Whereas two to three weeks, he may not miss the playoffs, so it's not a risk worth taking that. So here we are, two, day, two, two games to go. Away against Millwall is this first game against 7th place Millwall. So obviously they're fighting for a playoff place, really desperate to win this because they're 3 points behind Sheffield Wednesday. If they lose this it might be out of their grasp, so it's a crucial game for them. Wolves have Doncaster who are bottom of the table who have only got 16, 17 points this season. So if they win this and Luton slip up, I think they've won the league. So maybe first is just beyond us now it could be beyond us at the end of this game we need Doncaster to do us a favour Chesterfield have Barnsley in 11th so that's not an easy fixture certainly not an easy fixture okay let's we have to make some changes the last game we played against Millwall we drew but obviously we've got a couple of injuries uh, one injury Cameron Stewart is injured so I'm going to put Riley on the wing and JB is going to be on the bench remember the end of last season the overhead kick what a goal that was and Alcock is back, so I'm going to put him in for Clausen because Alcock is better, in my opinion, than Clausen. But I will put Clausen on the bench because he's versatile. Actually, maybe Simington. We'll take. Yeah, we'll take Muggleton out and put Clausen on the bench. And. I think we'll stick with Foto up front. Yeah, we will. I'm going to stick with this team, keep the faith. Oh, I'm nervous, I'm nervous, I really am. Right, let's do this. Come on, guys, let's get a win against Mill. We have to win. We have to win the last two games, basically, to have a chance of getting promoted. If we, And it would be handy if we win by more goals than Chesterfield as well, because we're t Chesterfield would have a very impressive goal difference. They've got plus 30, we've got 28. So we need to try and better theirs, because we're on the same number of points. And that could be crucial come the end of the season for that probably realistically second place fight that will be between us, Chesterfield and Luton. Okay, Luton's game in hand was postponed by the way, so they, they're probably going to play it this week between this game and the last game of the season. So it might tire them out a bit actually that, which could play in our favour. But we need to concentrate on our own game first and beat Millwall. You can see the scores here on the right hand side. So. Keep an eye on them. Sheffield Wednesday are just taking the lead against Port Vale. That's a critical goal for the playoff battle. Hickford wins the ball. Come on, Reese. Into Fotu. Come on, Riley. Use your pace down the right, Riley. Mitchell. Reese. Ah, doesn't quite fall. It's, oh, we've, we've got the ball. Fotu. Oh, he scores. Brilliant goal. Seventh goal of the season for Jumpsford City for him. And we take the lead. Chesterfield are currently. They must be drawing still 0-0 against Barnsley. This is a great finish. Skipped past his man. Lovely there. And a good finish into the left-hand side of the goal. We're 1-0 up. That is very pleasing indeed. 
Half an hour gone, 40 minutes almost gone. There we go, it's almost half time and we're 1-0 up. It's still 1-0, there we go. Okay, let's keep it up, guys, basically. I'm going to say to the midfield, they can still improve on that performance. Chesterfield still drawing 0-0. Wolves must still, yeah, Wolves are still drawing 0-0 against Doncaster. We're bottom of the table. If that stays the same, we could still get first. If if it remains this way as it is right now, Luton must have must be winning. Yep, they're winning against Plymouth. Remember, Luton have a game in hand as well. So there, our oh, Wolves are winning. Wow, it's gone to the 78th minute. Nothing's happened. I'm going to make some changes. Riley's going to come off for good old JB. I think I'll bring on Doolan for Fotu. Doolan's not really done much as he of late since the couple of goals he scored early on in his Chelmsford City career. Can we hold on for nine minutes? I'm not done anything to the tactics. There's no point. I'm just leaving it as it is because it's a boring game. But here's a long throw from Mill. JB, now you need to run it clear and be sensible here. Don't lose the ball. JB. Okay, yep, yeah, well, yep, yeah, keep going. What? what a run. <laughs> <laughs> what a run. I was like, well, maybe pass it, but you just kept going. That's the way to do it, JB. Well done. <laughs> and, oh, I thought that was in. Mitchell, what a save from the keeper. Harris with the corner. Whips it in. Headed away. Another corner. That's okay. We've had three clear-cut chances, apparently. It must have been two of them from that shot early, just now. That one, the initial corner. Faulkner. Knocks it back to Mitchell, and it's a good save. Let's make our last sub. Uh, let's bring off Mitchell and bring on Hoey. Defensive stability in midfield. Hold on, guys. Just hold on for a few minutes. We're currently in second place, and if Luton can slip up in their other game... Wolves have basically won the league. And let, well, Luton, obviously, if they win the game in hand, they can fight Wolves for the title. But come on, this is the end, surely. Faulkner... Doolan hits it wide, but we've won 1-0. We've scraped a 1-0 win against Millwall. Brilliant stuff. It's a pretty boring game on the whole, but that's fine. Man of the match for none of my players, by the looks of it, actually. Must have been a Millwall player that got man of the match. But that really doesn't matter. We've got the win. That is the most important thing here today. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you so much. That was, that was essential. So Wolves did win, which means... They're pretty much champions unless Luton win their game in hand. So they're not champions at all yet. So we really have to hope Luton lose their game in hand or draw their game in hand. Because then we go into the last game of the season in second place. Favourites to, to get promoted out of those three teams. So for some reason, my uh, fans have decided to do a poll asking, should Sean Boyd, my backup keeper, be in the first team? And 87% have said yes. Why? Seriously, why? I know Lovelock's not the best keeper in the world, but he's much better than Boyd. Come on. I mean, uh, what? Ah, I'm just going to ignore my fans there. That is just ridiculous. Pole. Lovelock's got the most clean sheets out of any keeper this season in League One. So I've decided to do something different. We're actually going to watch the Luton versus, versus Preston game because this is crucial. Obviously, Preston... Have they been relegated yet? No. They have to win this game to keep their relegation battle alive. But if Luton win, they're favourites to go up. And we're pretty much going to get playoffs. Because I can't see Luton slipping up and well in the last game of the season. But you never know. You never know. We'll see. Let's watch this game anyway and see what happens. We're, be we're Preston supporters today. If I knew some Preston songs, then I'd be singing them. But I'm afraid I don't. Anyway, it's crucial for Preston. It's crucial for Luton. The table's so tight. Let's go and watch this game. You can see the lineup here. Luton, Dwight Gale on the pitch, Wagstaff, and uh, Preston. Any known names? There probably are. I, I don't really know the lower leagues anymore. And obviously, we're now in the future. There'll be some regens in here. Uh oh, Luton have a corner early on, and they've taken the lead. No! Don't do this to me, Luton. Why? Come on, Preston, get back in this. You need to. You have to fight for survival. Don't go down losing. 
It's probably going to be a, a counter attack for Luton here. Over the top for Saunders. Come on, tackle him. Come on, do something, you idiots. How are you getting relegated from League One? You're Preston North End. One of the most historic teams in England. And you're about to be relegated from League One after getting defeated by Luton Town. Come on, guys. Do something. Ah, oh, great tackle. Here goes Baldwin. Play it out wide. That's it. Well done. Now, cross it in. What was that? Oh, come on. That is ridiculous. Why did he do that? That is just the most dreadful cross ever. What was he trying to do? Ugh. Probably saw his girlfriend in the crowd and thought, look at this, I'm going to score from here. Absolute prune. Okay. You've got over... Ah, just giving the ball away. They're playing a, a flat five in midfield. They need to get some more creative players down the wings. But here they go Luton and that's two. And it's all over. And our promotion dream could be over too. We're two points behind Luton now. As it stands, we're going to have to hope Luton lose their last game or draw their last game. It's still possible, of course. If we win our last game and Luton draw, then we get promoted through goal difference. So it's certainly not over. It is over for Chesterfield as it stands. It really is between Luton and us going into the last game. And it will be between... But Luton will want to win the league. But obviously they... They're probably not too bothered about that. They really want to get promoted. They're not going to be worrying about Wolves only being two points ahead of them. They could, obviously. Ah, oh, Preston are back in it. Come on, Preston. Get back. Ben Baldwin, 23rd goal of the season. I've noticed Scunthorpe and Preston have two players. They're both towards the bottom of the table, but they've got two really good goal scorers in their team. And Baldwin, 23rd goal of the season for him. Get it up to him, guys. They're probably relying on him too much, aren't they? The rest of the team aren't helping him out and helping him out enough. Anyway, here they go again. But Luton win the ball back. Uh oh, Saunders has destroyed them, and he slashes that wide. So clear. That was their first clear cut chance. Actually, come on, Preston, get a goal back. I wish I could influence this game properly. Francis, oh, you. What was that for a first touch? And it's a great save by the keeper and an awful miss second time round for like. There's still a chance here for Preston to get into this. Oh, they've won a corner. And it's it's not good enough. If they get it back into the box here, nope, it's still not good enough. Oh, nope. <laughs> they keep teasing me here. Over the top. Ah, uh, we need Luton to cock up at the back. Please, someone cock up. Luton's goal difference is only 12, so they can't have the best de um, defence in the league, actually. Five minutes to go. Come on, Preston. Please do this for me. I'll send you a big special cake. I'm def Oh, he's offside. Dwight Gale's offside. Just a few minutes, three minutes of added on time. Come on, Preston, do something. They haven't done anything. This is the last chance. You never know. No, it's all over. They've they've lost. Preston are down. Preston are down to League Two. Even with me watching, inspiring them, it wasn't good enough. And we go into the last game, two points behind Luton. I can't believe we've only lost five games of the season and we're still not actually going to get automatically promoted. Ugh. Crazy. So I've managed to win Manager of the Month award for the second time in a row. I've had a great couple of months, haven't I? I haven't actually won Manager of the Month previous to that this season. I don't think I won Manager of the Month at all last year in League 2. I think I won Manager of the Year in the conference. But I haven't really won too many personal awards on this save. Anyway, it's the day. It's the big day. It's Saturday. The 1st of May, May Day, and we're ready to try and get promoted. Ah, oh, it's so tight. Oh, the game between Colchester and Yeovil has been postponed. I wonder when they're going to play it then. So, oh, please guys, do this for me. Luton, please, who are Luton playing? Let's have a look. Let's see who they're, they're playing, and then... Decide. They're playing Bradford in 15th, which they should be winning that game. 
But we've got Oldham in 17th, who we should really be beating as well. It's been very tight, actually, because Bradford, to be fair to them, have reached a 60-point mark, but they're 15th. So they're not going to be a pushover, are they? See, look, Lovelock, 19 clean sheets he's got. That's amazing. And he missed a couple of games through injury around Christmas time. Okay. Uh, blah, ah. <laughs> I really want to get promoted automatically. I don't like the playoffs. So let's analyse this. Who can come into the team? Kulabali should be playing instead of Naji. He's more solid in defensive midfield. So I'm going to go with him. But I'm going to put... I'm going to put Robert Murphy in the team for Louis Mulch. JB's going to be on the bench. He did that amazing run at the end of the last game, which I very much appreciated, to be fair. The rest of the team, I'm going to keep it the same. Oh, wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck. Just click Submit Team. And now this is, this is it. This is crucial. We need Bradford to get a result against Luton. We need to beat Oldham, firstly. They're playing a 4-1-2-1-2 formation, which I haven't really faced, I don't think, in League One. The diamond in midfield. Let's see how my team copes against it, how my formation copes against it more than anything, I guess. Let's just go for this. Let's just... I might, I'm might. i tempted to just go attacking rather than counter. Let's just go for it. Let's go... Let's just batter it up the pitch. We're going to just... Throw everything at them to start with. Try and get a goal or two. And hope Bradford can get a goal against Luton. And hope Luton don't score too many goals in return. Okay, we've won a throw. And Harris into Fotu. Faulkner. Oh, it's back to Mitchell. Oh, it's it's a goal. Fotu scores. Eighth goal for him for Chelmsford. It's 1-0. Let's keep it on attacking for now and just get a second goal. Faulkner. Crossed it in. Wilson tried to head it and sort of controlled header didn't quite work for him. And then Mitchell found photo. Lovely finish into the left, top left hand corner. And we're 1 0 up early on. It's still 0 0 between Bradford and Luton. Currently we're in second place. But that is as it stands right now. That could all change any second, especially if Oldham get a goal back. But Koulibaly wins it. Photo loses it. Oh no. Guys, win it back. Higginbotham, such an English name. Ah, oh, it's somehow scrambled into the back of the net. Ah. Uh. Look at this. Higginbotham runs through, hits the post. It hits the other post. It's on the line. Hickford <laughs> kicks it against the post. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's just the match engine. The, the whatever, letting you down there. Because he's just gone and kicked it against the post when it's sat next to the post. Mitchell's got injured. Let's see, leave him on until half time. Oh, we might be able to get a goal before half time. Riley, Allcock, whips it in. Knocked back to Riley. Ugh. Guys, don't concede now. Please, tackle him. Oh, no. Get him. He's going to be crossed in. Oh, Hickford. Oh, no. Disaster, guys. Disaster. It's hit Hickford. He didn't know where the ball was. A good tackle, but... Good finish. And we're, we're not getting promoted as it stands. Maybe I shouldn't have gone attacking. Maybe I should have kept it on my usual thing. I think Hoey's going to have to come on. Uh, okay, let's... Let's just... Let's turn push higher up off. Let's. I can't believe this. Bradford are drawing. And we're letting ourselves down by losing. Only our sixth game of the season. If this is how it finishes. Hickford's got injured after a bit of a dreadful game for him so far today. Clausen's going to have to come on centre back. Chesterfield have gone above us. They must be beating Wolves. Come on, guys. Overload. We need to get two goals in the last 20 minutes to get promoted and hope Bradford hold on against Luton. We're currently down to fourth. If Luton score, they, they go up as champions as well. Uh, 
Ah, oh, we. Ah, oh, Luton have scored like they're champions. Riley, uh, anything we do now isn't enough unless Bradford equalise. So it doesn't actually matter that we're losing, to be honest. Reese, ah, oh, oh, photo scores. Can we get a last gasp goal? Can we? We're still in fourth as it stands. It doesn't look like it. Foe two, play it through. Faulkner, ah. Oh. Well, intriguing game. Foe two gets two goals, but it wasn't enough. We, we keep our unbeaten run going, but it wasn't good enough. But in the end, Bradford lost against Luton, so whatever we would have done wouldn't have been enough. We finished fourth in the end because Chesterfield beat Wolves. And Luton go as champions of League One. How crazy is that? What a what a weird end to the season. Maybe I shouldn't have gone attack. It doesn't matter. Either way, it doesn't matter what I did in that game because Luton won. It does mean we're going to face Leighton Orange in the playoffs. So this season hasn't ended, guys. We've got I'm going to do a playoff semi-final episode where we take on Leighton Orient over the two legs and then hopefully a playoff final episode where we get promoted there's still a chance of promotion it's it's disappointing that we've lost out in the end in the end we didn't win more games than we than we drew because we've drawn 21 games 120 lost five games 29 plus uh, t plus 29 goal difference second best in the league we're going to be taking on Leighton Orient who have the best attack in the league this we could get we, this could be a hard game we beat them 4-1 earlier in the season, not that long ago. And Leighton Orient recently have not had a good run. So let's have a quick look at them and see. I think they're my, actually my favourite team to play, thinking about it. Recently, look at that. They, they've won two of the last three, but look at how many games they lost. I beat them 4-1. They'd already had a bit of a bad run, but they, they obviously were top for quite a while after lots of wins. But recently, you know, they've lost so many games. 5-4 against Preston. Their defence is suspect, but their attack is lethal, so we're going to have to watch out. But wish me luck for episode 66, which will be the playoff semi-finals. I'm looking forward to it, despite the fact I was really hoping for automatic promotion today. So, I mean, the episode title, can we win the league? Obviously, we didn't win that, and we didn't even get automatic promotion, but it was very tight. And... Uh, in the end, it's been a positive league campaign. So please hit that like button. Despite the fact I didn't, haven't got promoted so far, we're in with a really good chance of promotion because we go into this like playoffs, the form team, I guess. If we look at the last five games, I might not actually be the in-form team over the last five games. Let's just have a quick look. I'm not. I'm quite far below. In fact, Chesterfield are above us. But that's because we've drawn so many damn games, which is annoying. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. I will see you in episode 66.